is a picture perfect day here at State College, Pennsylvania. Beaver Stadium is rocking already. 107,000 plus have arrived. Hoping to take some of the steam out of the Purdue Boilermakers, ranked 10th in the country. It is Purdue against the Nittany Lions of Penn State. So, Penn State will have a, a chance to win this football game today. Well, we shall see how it plays out. We're expecting a good one here in State College. Purdue has never won here at Beaver Stadium. History's not on their side. We shall see how it plays out. I think that's where they come up a little bit short, turning it over. If they can do that today, avoid the turnovers, they can be in this football game. Aaron Levin kicks it off. High and deep, Austin Scott with the football. And Austin Scott down at the 20 yard line. Zach Mills, 6'3, 214 pounds. This year, he has struggled with the turnovers. He has thrown eight interceptions on the year to just five touchdowns. He's a smart player. Just try not to make any mistakes this week. Turnovers have really been a bugaboo so far this season. Hunt with the carry. Gain of five, make it six. Offense. Mark Rubin last week got the first start by a true freshman wide receiver in over 15 years. They couldn't even remember the last time that a true freshman had started at that position here at Penn State. Up front, good but not great offensive line. John Wilson getting the start today. He is replacing Levi Brown, maybe their best offensive Coaching staff for Purdue. Mills wants to throw. Complete. Short gain. First third down situation for the Nittany Lions. Mills running out of time. Has to just throw it away. Jeremy Capano, his first punt. Taylor Stubblefield will return it under duress and goes nowhere. And Taylor Stubblefield and thrown the, down without going anywhere. A pretty good tackle there, just the getting the play. Orton wants to throw on first down. As a man, his favorite receiver, Taylor Stubblefield. Purdue gets the playoff. Gerard Boyd, his first carry, is a good one. Gets out close to the 35. Is their best pass rusher. Comes from Teaneck, New Jersey. Was born in Liberia. African continent. Linebackers are probably their strongest suit. Tim Shaw a little bit banged up. We don't know how much he's going to play today. But Paul Kozlozny is a very good outside backer. And Alan Zemitis, we've talked about him for years, one of the best corners in the entire country. Third down and three. Orton, quick pass, Stubblefield. His second reception. Quick pass, Dorian Bryant. Very good runner at the catch. Good first down. Kyle Orton. What a tremendous number so far this year. Bullet pass knocked down at the line. Third down at seven. Let's see if they look for Stubblefield. Orton with a good pump fake. Has a man, has a completion. It's big tight end. Charles Davis. Through there in zone, pass sometimes it becomes man. Offense, number 87. 15 yard penalty from the previous. 61 percent of their third downs. But this one, they'll have their work cut out for them. They need to get to the 33, and they're going to try running the football. Boyd knocked down at midfield. On walk of Kyle Orton in this high-powered offense from Purdue. But you see just a little underhand flip. That is a pass. And that goes on his passing statistics. Doctors did some tests on him late in the week, ruled him out. He is day to day from this point on, guys. Yeah, thanks, Jimmy. They really need him. He needs hunt in the backfield. Mills wants to throw. Almost in. From his own end zone, Mills throws it out of bounds. In their rocks. Kapanos fields a low snap. Good punt. And gets off a boomer, driving Stubblefield all the way back to the 45. He has a good running start and makes a couple of good moves and gets inside the few picks about this time in the season for sure. Design quarterback draw. Orton gets close to the third today. It's five for six, 31 yards. On third down, bends it low and away from the receiver. And it'll bring up fourth down. 50-yard field goal attempt. Ben Jones gets it up and gets it in. No problem at all for Mr. Jones. Bounce back after that whipping they got last week. 
Mills guns the pass complete to his tight end. Smolko with the catch. First first down of the game for the Nittany Lions. Mills wants to throw it again. Complete. Terrence Phillips brought down. Pass complete. Gerald Smith with the catch, but it's going to be short of the first down. They try a handoff, and it goes nowhere. Boyd is brought down. Quick flip out to Stubblefield. Brought down by Paul Cronin. It's very loud. Little shuttle pass. Boyd has it. And Boyd knocked out of bounds. Andrew Gooman knocks him out. Clinton Portis has had trouble putting the ball on the ground so far this year. Couple of fakes. Mills. Complete. Gerald Smith with the catch. First down yards. Second down and 13. First play of the second quarter. The senior, Zach Mills. Always had good feet. Gets it out complete, Minnesota. Tough, tough. Tony's losing both times. Pass complete, Tony Hunt. Not going to be able to get close to first down yards. Everywhere he's supposed to be there on time, up. We talked to him yesterday, up sometimes 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. Working, trying to find a way to win. Double field. One of those zigzags. Brought down at the 14-yard line. Orton throws it out. Flag comes flying down. Pass complete. It was just a game of two. Orton this time. Big play over the middle. His tight end, Charles Davis. Davis on the move. Look at the wheels. Brought down at the 20. Oh, my. Big plays to Purdue where they get big chunks of yardage. A 55-yard play certainly constitutes a big one. Ingram. Good for them. And congratulations. That's, you just hate to see long losing streaks like that. Orton. Touchdowns and run for two more. Pitch goes to Brandon Jones. And Jones into the end zone. Austin Scott, the lone back behind. Mills he gets the ball in the delayed handoff. Gets across the 40. Time it and jump. Get your hands up. Pass complete. The freshman, Mark Rubin, with the catch. In a world of pain on the ground. Just the fourth lowest rushing total ever in the Joe Paterno era. Screen set up for Austin Scott. They've got a couple of matchups that's going to be really interesting. Mills wants a bundle. Goes to the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State. Terrell Golden. It says running the football. We're going to take a couple of shots over the top. Here he sets him up on the post route, gets inside, and watch this throw and catch. Fabulous. Penn State knocking on the door. Zach Mills, the senior, to the freshman Golden. 37 yards, good for six. Play like that, it festers all the way down to the defense. Look for him to play well on this series. Jones with the football and room. Rumbles out to the 25. Pitch goes. Jones has it. And he's brought down rudely. First down, little shovel pass. Jones has it. Orton fakes the handoff. Looking for someone to get open. No one does, and he's brought down. Sack is made by Levon Chisley. Purdue needs to get to the 38-yard line. With time, Orton gets it out to a safety bound. Receivers available to Orton. Has a man wide open. Pass caught by the freshman Bryant. Even on third and ten. First down pass batted down. Andrew Gooman got the left arm up and this is the tenth play of this drive already. Purdue has picked up 51 yards. Second down. For the second time, Orton is sacked. Scott. The ground here just looking downfield. 
And then all of a sudden he feels the pass rush and steps up. But there, when he steps up. Jones, he's already made from 50 yards so far today, but that was the other direction back in the first quarter. This time, he's no good. He misses off to the left. It had to tell you the definition of toughness at halftime. Thanks, guys. We will stay tuned. Two and a half minutes. What a good job in the screen game. Second and one. That's complete. The tight end again. Mills with those good feet. Uses it to buy time, and the pass is complete to Smith. They had seven. The late handoff smelled out perfectly here to get to third down and long. From the shotgun, Mills has a completion. First down. Oh, and Zach Mills right here looking coverage over. Senior leadership zips one outside for a first down. And Penn State back on the move. To the end zone. Pass incomplete. We were lucky it was 10 push-ups, not 10 set-ups. I don't know if you would have made it. <laughs> oh, man. On third down, Zach Mills. Simply lives to many kicks so far this season. He's made just two field goals on the year. Yeah, just a long of 23 yards on the season. This one from 38. Goal. Ties the game at 10. So we're all well, they would have taken this. A 10-10 tie going. Nine out of ten days. Kyle Orton, the Heisman hopeful, will take a knee, and that'll do it. 30 minutes in the books. Orton limited. He has no touchdown passes thus far. It's a 10-10 tie, Purdue and Penn State in a battle. Now, for halftime, let's go back together and try and make a difference. The 12th man here at Beaver Stadium. Kick off into the end zone. And that's where it will stay in things here in the second half. He has three receivers at his disposal. Throws to the running back out of the backfield. Gerard Boyd, good game. On first. Third and short. Complete. First down to the big fence. First down and again. Orton throws four and a half games without an interception. And off. Boy, up the really middle loves to get points and get them in a hurry in the passing game. Second and five. Another short completion to Stubblefield. Ball resting on the 40-yard line. Big handoff. Has a man wide open. That's Stubblefield. Touchdown, Purdue. Touchdown, Purdue. 29 yards. And that touchdown. Mills trying to answer. Gets the drive off to a good start. Mark Lewis for Purdue 35 yards so far in this football game. Trying to set up a screen. Pass is complete. The fullback, the freshman, Matt Hahn. Just checking. They'll need to get to the 40-yard line to move the chain. Mills completes the pass underneath to Jefferson. And Jefferson on time. And they are on the ropes right now. And, and at home. At home, getting it done to him at home. Mills squeezes it in there. Great pass and an even better. This is a fantastic throw. One, two, three, four, five on the drop. It's lobbed inside over the linebacker and right in stride to Terrence Phillips. Look at this route right there on the seventh step. He looks back inside. Guy. As tough as Paul Puzlesny, it, 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 it's hurting. Another pass batted down. Ten. The senior, Mills, complete to the freshman Rubin. now with four catches. Ball in the 35. Not even thinking about running the football. Instead, thinking about six. Incomplete. Second down and again. Mills completes it. The tight end, Smolko, with his four kick. Third down and long. Mill steps up in the pocket, lays it out, complete down the sideline to his tailback, Tony Hunt. 
Zach Mills here. Reading out coverage, moving the free safety. He's going left. He comes all the way back across the field and finds his safety valve, Tony Hunt, down the sideline. Reading in the middle of the field. It's not there. He's going to step up in the pocket, deliver the football right on time. He gets the matchup he wants. He's Take that matchup all night. Hunt coming into the game with the most catches on the team. This time running it right the into second the and one. It's third and three. Mills doesn't want to make a mistake. On the run, buying time, simply has to throw it out of bounds. To make it a four-point game, he does. Penn State inching back into this one. Purdue, Purdue doesn't want to lose for the first time on the season. In case you're wondering, Taylor Stubblefield. Back in from the locker room and back on the field. Get an official word on his injury. Pass complete to the tight end, Davis. And Davis is together. together. We have a big down here for Penn State. They can stop Purdue. They're going to have some pretty good field position. Pitch out goes to Boyd. Trying to pick a hole. Finds one and gets the first and, uh, down. That's exactly what he did to pick up the first down. Buzz Luzny. Just in a, a lot of pain as he's being carted off. That's a big blow for the Nittany Lions defense. New set of downs for the Boilermakers. No backs in the backfield with Orton. Designed run. Picks up a couple. Power and they have, some, they have some intestinal fortitude. They do not want to lose at home to Tennessee. Orton scrambles out of the pocket. Orton spins and is brought down. Complete Kyle Ingram. Number 10 ranked team in the country, the Purdue Boilermakers. Second down at seven. Kyle Orton. Throwing over the middle. Throws high. His first interception of the year. Calvin Lowry. Lowry's second interception comes at an opportune time. And here, Calvin Lowry just playing center field. Just a little bit overthrown to the tight end, Charles Davis. And it's going to result in an interception. If you're trying to allow for people to pull, it's not going to work. Zach Mills, buying time. Flips it out, incomplete. Pass interference. Defense number 24. Have an automatic first down. Ball at midfield. Mills on a blitz. Gets the pass away. Hunt, gain of six. How about this? The elements a factor. Mills loops it up, has a man, has a completion. Terrence Phillips, a big gainer inside the 10. Night they come out, they're catching everything. Here you see Zach Mills just looking off coverage, and that's one of those lob shots right there. You gotta have some touch, but just enough steam on it to where you can't run it down. Looks to free safety, just freezes him right there. Just enough. He freezes Kyle Smith and squeezes the field. It was an incompletion. Second down, Mills has his tailback punt. As well, and he's just standing in there fighting. Lob shot. Corner of the end zone, batted away. Number two. This one should be a chip shot. 23-yard attempt. And they fake it. And it goes nowhere. Zach Mills. And it's going to get loud. And it's going to get noisy. He's got to individually go down and tell everybody what to do. Orton hands it off. Dangerous play. And brought down at the one-yard line is four. Big handoff. Looking for 99 yards is Orton. Dangerous passes. Intercepted. Anwar Phillips picks it off. Playing well enough. And Kyle Orton has done something in this football game that he hadn't done all season long. And that's really force footballs. He had a bad throw on the first interception by Lowry, and here he throws one out there on the Mark, and Mark Phillips just plays great under cool. the football, throw it long enough, and it results in an interception. Mills has his man fighting for yards. Little option. 
Mills pitches it out. And a first in minute. 10 minutes of this game. Blitz is on, and Mills didn't see it. Paul Long gets him. As well. After the third sack of Mills. Second and long, Tony Hunt trying to get back some yards. Gets Mills is now thrown for 273 yards. Under pressure, almost has the ball picked off. 45-yard attempt for the senior. Heading left, and it is left. No good. After some confusion and a timeout, first down from the 28 for Kyle Orton and the Boilermakers. Orton slings it out. Dangerous pass, almost picked off. The full 10 yards for Purdue. Quick pitch inside. Boyd has it, and Boyd has the ball of the field. Back in the game on third and two. Pass is complete. But he can catch it. Stay away from the stiff wings. That's right, skinny was his big play. Second down. Orton has the pocket collapse. Escapes to his left. And he's J.R. J.R. Brzezinski with the stop. The kid from Joliet, Illinois. Try to mix them up. But usually when it goes up, the center grazes his head. They're able to time the pass rush just right. That's why he's getting so much pressure. Orton dumps it out. He's got Bryant. And Bryant makes a move. Big play. Gets the first down. Orton just wants to burn some clocks. And smart off. people around here. Quite impressive. First down and 10. Boyd. Hit and brought down. Tomorrow, Kyle Orton will be a horse young man. He will barely be able to speak. Purdue needs to get to the 22-yard line. Oh, dangerous pass. Made a 50-yard of this direction back in the first quarter. And this one is good. Makes it a seven-point lead for Purdue. And their kickoff. He's a short one. Will be fielded by Rodney Kinlaw. And Kinlaw with room. Down the right side. Can he get a block? Kinlaw with a great return. What a return. He allows it, everybody to set up. He's got the wedge right there in front. And he's going to pick up a block from his tight end. And all of a sudden, it's off to the races. Oh, what a fantastic return when you really need it. This right up the field, right behind the wedge. We saw Mills from the shotgun. Steps away from pressure. Zips it out in the flat. Incomplete. Line. Mills throws it high, but a flag flies. There's no foul in the ball play. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Well, if it's tipped, then they made the correct call. Mills has time, throws high, incomplete. This is incomplete. Intended for the tight end, Smolko. Checking in the game as a fullback for Purdue. He blocks for Boyd, and Boyd goes nowhere. Tamba Holly. On second down and 10, Boyd, the only back behind Orton. Orton wants to throw. Now he wants to run, and he doesn't run very far. Again, so, yeah. Oh, no. Third down and 10, very conservative. They keep it on the ground. That'll keep the clock rolling. Thank you, Reese. And, well, under a minute to go, Zach Mills needs to make a couple of plays. Pass complete to Hunt, but that will not stop the clock. They didn't get the first down, nor did he get out of bounds. No, and they needed to have two plays called there. Just run up and get the second play called. Mills complete. Smith has it. That will stop the clock. Just start working the edges and get somebody out of bounds. Mills gets his tight end and another poor decision. The clock's going to continue to run. He needs to clock the football. Just take the snap, get him set. Get him set first, take the snap and clock it. 
Three plays in 48 seconds have elapsed off the clock. For a touchdown. They're set up for the Hail Mary. And Mills goes short intended for Smith. And it's incomplete. And now, the freshman, Anthony Morelli, has checked into the game. He's got the strongest arm in the program. And they need someone who can get it to the end zone, and a flag flies. Dead play. To the snap. All start. Offense. Number 87. Five yard penalty to the previous spot. Well, we'll Four see seven. how strong yeah. Mr. Morelli's arm is. They really want to test that arm strength. <laughs> Moving back a little bit. This is a long throw. He's got to put some air under this football and allow the first guy that touches it uses the tip guy. He tips it in the air. Morelli buys time, throws a deep one. Pass is knocked down, and that'll do it. Purdue 5 0 for the first time since 1945. They win in State College for the first time ever. Our final score Purdue 20, Penn State 13. Coming up next, it's LSU and Florida from the swamp in Gainesville. For Andre Ware and Jimmy Knights, this is Eric Collins saying so long and good night from State College. Now let's go to Gainesville and Ron Franklin.